That window that pops up in Premiere Pro when you go to export your videos is kind of confusing, right? There's codecs, bit rates, resolution, and it's all a little bit overwhelming if you don't fully understand it. So today, I want to break it down for you, make it really simple, and go over exactly what's the best export settings for you to use when exporting for social media, whether that's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'm going to show you the best export settings for long form and short form content. Okay, so your masterpiece is finished. You go to export and you're greeted with this. Let's walk through each of these options and I'll make it nice and simple. First, you have file name and location. This stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Then there's preset. We're going to come back to that. And below that, you have format. This is where people start to get confused. Essentially, you're choosing the way the video is going to be rendered and the file format that's going to come out at the end. Now, you'll notice there's a lot of options under here for different things, but there's only a couple we really need to worry about. H.264 has been the standard video format for a long time now. But for social media, I'm going to choose you recommend high efficiency video coding or h.265 which you're going to find right below h.264 h.265 is basically h.264 but it's a newer more efficient format that's about twice as efficient so that means your file sizes are going to be about half the size and the bit rate you're going to need is going to be cut in about half this is good because smaller file sizes for the same quality means faster uploading to the internet faster processing and faster export times so we're going to select h.265 and then we can open up our video panel here now when it comes to resolution for short form vertical content like reels uh shorts tiktoks you want to be exporting at 1080p so this is going to be reversed because it's vertical it's going to be 1080 by 1920 and this is because most of these platforms right now are not supporting anything higher than 1080p even if they are most phone screens are not 4k which means if you're exporting and uploading short form content in 4k you're leaving it up to the social media platforms to take that 4k and downsample it to 1080p and they're not going to do as good of a job as premiere is so we might as well downsample it here. So if you're doing short form content, you're gonna set this to 1080 by 1920. Now, if you're doing long form content like this, like a full YouTube video, you're just gonna leave it set to whatever you shot at. If that's 1080, then great. If that's 4K, then great. Okay, we're gonna hit more here and open this up. Now we're gonna skip past all of these settings. We don't need to touch any of them and go down to bitrate settings. So you're gonna select bitrate VBR one pass. And for target bitrate, for 1080p video, you're gonna set this to 10. And for 4K, you're gonna set this to 25. Mine's 4K, so I'm gonna hit 25. The higher the resolution of the video, the more bitrate you need to give it. Now for quality, you can just leave this on good. Honestly, I haven't noticed much of a difference. You can bump it up to higher if you want, but it's gonna increase your export time and increase your file size. And honestly, I haven't been able to tell much of a difference on social media, so you can give it a try, but it's probably not gonna do much. Now if you have captions burned onto your video, you can go in here and turn them on. I do that for shorts. Now what you should do is come back up to the top, click these three little dots next to preset, save preset, name it something like 4K YouTube test. And now next time you wanna export with these settings, it's one click away. Now you can go ahead and hit the export button. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.